which you guys got another video on how to make Windows 11 or Windows 10 better in two clicks. That's what we're going to take a look at today. So first off, we all know Windows 11 is full of bloat, as you can see right here. This is a fresh install of Windows 11. There's lots of applications and other junk that people just don't need, and you have to go through and remove a lot of this manually, and it can take quite a bit of time to get it exactly how you want it. So this video is going to show you how you can do this in a couple of clicks. So we can also see that we have a bunch of settings that we have to go through in privacy and security and change all these settings. This simple method I'm going to show you today will do all of this for you in a couple of clicks. So if you're one of these people that just don't like Windows 11 the way it is by default, then this video might be for you. Now, of course, if you're on Windows 10, you can also use this method for Windows 10 as well, but we're using Windows 11 here. But before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then use my promo code capital B, capital R, 09, and apply that to your order on CD Key Sales and get 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key and you can activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen. Okay, so let's get back to the video and take a look at what we're gonna be doing here. So first off, what we're gonna do is get Crap Fixer. Crap Fixer is a free app we can use to remove all of the bloat, all of the telemetry, all of the ads that are forced on you inside Windows 11, and basically just get it up and running and get it nice and clean without all of the copilot recall and all that other stuff. So you can read all about Crap Fixer right here. The creator is a well-known creator of these particular apps. And we're going to go ahead and download the latest version. So we need the cfixer.exe. You may get blocked here because Windows is starting to block a lot of this stuff. So hit the three dots and click on keep. Then come down to show more and keep anyway, and this will allow you to download the actual file. Once we've done that, we're going to download the plugins.zip file, and this will download straight away. Once we've got these, let's go ahead to our download section right here. And these are the two files that we've got. So we've got plugins, and which we're going to extract right here. So let me go ahead and extract this. So first, let's click on the icon, right click, and extract all. This will extract the plugins folder right here. Inside here, there's another plugins folder. So there should be only one plugins folder here. So it goes into a double plugins folder. So we're going to change that in a second. But you can see we've got restore all the built in apps. We've got uninstall OneDrive. We've got Chris Titus text, uh, PowerShell script. And we have also got create restore point and remove built in apps and all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is delete the zip file. And we're just going to cut this one right here because we only want one plugin folder, otherwise it won't work correctly. So let's go ahead and do that right here and paste that right here. And now we should have one folder with all of our little scripts here. Okay, so let's right click on C Fixer. And what we're going to do here is run this as administrator so we can uh, run it and it will give it privileges to do what it needs to do. Say yes to the user account control. And there we have crap fixer up on the screen there's two tabs here windows and apps we're going to take a look at the windows tabs first you can see we've got issues we've got system we've got microsoft edge and there's also ui and there's a bunch of other areas so this is going to deal with all of the stuff that's to do with microsoft edge and you guessed it it's all nicely easily labeled to easily follow so just remove any of the check marks on stuff that you want to keep on the system and any of the stuff that you want to remove, just leave it check mark. So for instance, if you don't want to disable the transparency effects, then just remove the check mark like so. You can do this to any of these items right here. So if you don't want to disable visual effects, you could just remove the check mark. Also on the list, we've got gaming, we've got privacy, and we've got ads. This is going to remove all the built-in ads that are inside here, which are basically forced upon you we've also got the telemetry data collection area privacy and settings experience signing and all that sort of stuff so we can disable all these by just leaving these check marked and i'm pretty sure that that's what you're going to do as well because that's exactly what you should be doing so don't show copilot in the taskbar don't allow system-wide snapshots and don't allow windows to save snapshots 
Also, we've got the plugin section, which is your Chris Titus Text app. We also got create restores, remove all the default apps, remove Windows AI and restart Explorer and uninstall OneDrive. I'm going to take the check mark out of restore built in apps because we don't want to restore them. Now, if you're going to use one of the other tools, you don't need to use the app section right here because obviously you'll just be removing the same thing over and over again and they won't find them and you'll get red error codes. So you can see it's found some uh, apps here which we can remove. This is the Windows feedback, your phone and so on. So if you want to remove them using this method, you can just run the run uh, C fixer and it will go ahead and start the disk cleanup first. You can go ahead and check mark what you want to remove, whether it's all the old uh, check disk files and setup files, logs, clean up your Windows uh, directory here to remove any Windows, the old folder, any of that sort of stuff. It will just go ahead and remove all of this from the PC. So just check mark what you want, click OK, and it will go ahead and do all that for you. So let me just quickly check mark these. You can see previous win Windows installations, recycle bin, and so on. Just check mark it. It's pretty straightforward stuff. This is just your disk cleanup tool that comes built into Windows. So I just let that run. And once that's done, we'll let it clean up the system using the cleanup feature. Once this is finished running, what it's going to do is move on to the next section, which is removing all of the settings that we have in place. You can see these are all now been fixed. It's done them in one simple click and it's done all of those for us. So we don't have to go through and manually do all of these. Next, it's going to open up Chris Titus Text Tool if you add that check marked in the plugin section. And you can even go through here and run Chris's uh, tweaks on here if you want to. You can even install some apps if you needed a new browser or any other stuff. You can just go ahead and click on the download and install. And this will go ahead and do all that for you. So depending on what you want to do, you don't have to use the install. You don't have to use this app if you don't want to. But I'm just going to show you just so you can see as it works in conjunction with Crap Fixer. So let's go ahead and check mark a bunch of this stuff. And once we've got all of our selections done, we can then run the tweaks button on the bottom left hand side. And this will go ahead and do all of this for us. So again, you don't need to do all of these in conjunction if you don't want to, because some of the programs are going to re remove all of this stuff. Remove Microsoft Edge, I would leave that alone, but I'm going to leave it check marked here. I don't think this tool is doing it uh, as of yet, but we can check it. There's also another button here, say run O and O shut up 10, which in some cases is plenty enough for most people. To do this, you would just click on it or go to their website and download the software from there. You can go ahead and apply recommended settings. I'm gonna go for the middle one right here. It's done 190 settings. The only thing here is you just have to make sure that it's not blocking your microphone, which it does on that one there. So I'm just going to turn that off. And there's one for camera if you have a webcam. I don't have one on here, so I'm just going to leave that as is. Click OK. And it might want you to restart, but I'm going to leave that. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on the run tweaks here now. And this will go ahead and do that here. Like I said before, you don't need to do all of these all together in conjunction with each other because really it's just doing the same thing over and over again. So that other tool was doing a lot of these settings already and you're just repeating the process by adding those registry keys in or those policies in. So you don't need to do all of them. I'm just doing these to show you exactly how it works and basically what it can actually do. So once we've done this, it's going to start running these. You should see it up on the top right hand side here. And once this is done, you should see something look like this. It will go back to the Crap Fixer app. And again, you can now see it's created another restore point. So you've got plenty of restore points to roll back. If you don't like something or you want to revert back, you can do. And once this is done, it's going to run a bunch of other plugins, depending on what ones you've checkmarked. And then you should see something looking like this. There might be a few apps that have been left behind, and that's okay because sometimes uh, some things change and they haven't updated the script yet so all you need to do here is we'll restart the pc as you should always do when doing this sort of stuff and once we get back to the desktop we will take a look and see what's left there'll only be a couple of little bits left if any and we can just quite simply uh, uninstall those and it looks pretty clean already as you can see here and again all you need to do here is we'll go to the start menu and you can see there's a couple of little bits here like linkedin 
which is just a shortcut. And then you've got family here. You can uninstall this one right here. It doesn't seem to have removed Microsoft Edge. And there is a Microsoft Teams. You can uninstall that if you don't need it. If you do need it, leave it on the system. And again, we've got the new Outlook. I'm just going to uninstall that there. And there's also Quick Assist. I'm just going to remove that. But you might want to keep that on the system if you use that particular type of app. And that's it. Pretty much we're done here. If you want to remove any of the other ones, you can do. You can't really remove Edge in this manner unless you're in the EU. If you're in the UK or the US, you can't physically uninstall it like they can in the EU because it's some sort of a law that they've had to have in place so that it gives them the ability to uninstall it. I just wish that was worldwide, but unfortunately it's not. So that's pretty much it. Let's go into the privacy and security here. And you can see here, we've got some settings that we've got set here. Let me just quickly show you what it does. And it says on the location here, some of these settings are managed by your organization. I've shown you how to do this a million times. You can do this many, many different ways. This is just another way. If you like simplicity, this is just another way to do it for you. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can make Windows 11 or Windows 10 better with two clicks using this simple tool. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments section down below. I'll do my best to reply to those comments. Have a nice day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.